Hey guys, so this video is about what to do when she starts pulling away, and it's a question from a viewer. So the question is, or it came in as, hey, this girl was constantly pursuing me when I was the alpha and more emotionless, uh, but the second I opened up and became the emotional one, she has slowly started to put in less effort and show less interest. How do I get back to being the alpha and get her to chase me again when I've already put myself into the beta emotional spot? And then he edits a little bit saying, she used to always be the one to pursue me until I opened up and became the one who pursued her, but I need to get back to where I was in the beginning. So I'll read you my reply and then I'll fill in in some of the blanks. Uh, number one, stop chasing. Do not initiate communication. So replying and engaging in conversation when she starts, whether it's by text, phone, I am, whatever, uh, is completely okay and it's encouraged. In fact, that brings me to number two, don't be cold and aloof. When she reaches out, you want to make her feel welcome so that she'll want to come back again. So you want to be charming and charismatic and playful and teasing and sexy and keep the sexual tension in there and don't make like she's done anything wrong. You just want her to think that you're busy, which brings me to number three, be busy. So you want to, oh, and then actually number three was, uh, uh, if she says, where did you go? Don't be a chick and be like, oh, well, I thought you didn't like me, so I'm just giving you space. No, be busy. You're busy. You have a life. And you want to make sure that she knows that you have a life. And here's the reason why. Because if she's your end all and be all, then that devalues you. If if she sees you as being so into her that you have no life outside of her or that you're always Johnny on the spot to you know text back and to be available for her, then it shows that you don't have high value in other women's eyes. And whether or not this is like what we like, it's just our biology. So you need to raise your own value by being attractive to other women and to actually have potential competition for her. Like for example, if you're out in the world when you have friends, you're taking care of your health, you're looking at your purpose in life, your career is on track, you've got friends and a social life, then that puts you uh, in her eyes at risk to meeting somebody else that could be potentially better than her. Now nobody's better or worse, but what you kind of get what I'm, I'm get, you're understanding what I'm going for here is that if you're out in the world and you've got all of these high value traits because you've got a life in every aspect and you're a cool guy, that means that other women are going to see you as cool as well. And she's just, she stands the chance to lose you. But if you're always there for her and you always see her and treat her as the highest value of anything in your life and put her on a pedestal, then she's going to know that you're not opening yourself up to other people. And that even if you kind of are out in the world, that no one's going to see you as having any value anyway, because you, your your body language and your attitude, everything's going to be put towards uh, this per particular person that you're interested in. So you always want to leave them wanting more, right? So that's, that's the model. We have them come to you. So stop chasing, right? Like stop chasing. And the thing about opening up, the emotional thing, we don't want men to not be emotional. We don't want men to, to have no feelings. We just truly, this is the truth of it. We want you to sort of ration your feelings and still not be all in. You have to have like a solid groundedness within yourself and your own life. You need to be able to walk away from the deal. So if you're needy and she feels that, then she's not going to want to chase you and she's going to know that you're always going to be there to chase her. So you need to go out and have a life. Start working on things in your own worlds that need to be improved, whether it's your health, your finances, your work, your social life, um, giving back in the community, whatever. There's somewhere in your world that needs improvement and sh you should be focusing on so that she's not the entire focus of your world. And the reality is, is that if she doesn't come to you, if she doesn't come back, then she wasn't really that into you. And so, so what? Move on. When you go out in the world and you're dating other people, or at least being open to dating other people, then that gives you more self-worth so that you don't act 
insecure and needy around this person. And the reality is that you should be dating other people. Unless you have a, a solid commitment with this person um, and you're, you've advanced to a stage where you're both equally into each other, then you need to be playing the field. And I don't mean using people. Be honest um, if it comes up. Uh, for me personally, the boundary as far as how much to discuss and disclose as far as how many people or who you're dating it's really about how intimate you've been with the person. For me, if, if you've had sex, that's when you need to actually have a conversation and say, okay, are we seeing other people? Are we like in a relationship? Are we in an open relationship? Where, where what are we at this point in time? Yes, uh, I completely think that if you're having sex with someone, then you need to have those conversations. But up until that point, you should be playing the field. You should be trying out the ice cream flavors so you know which one is really the one you like the most. And if, um, and, and it's not using people because the women that you're dating should be doing the same thing. And if it doesn't work out between you and any one of those ones, they shouldn't feel bad because they have the same opportunity. And truly, the people who are the rightest for each other will come together. And if that's not you for them, then great. There's someone else better for them. And same thing with you. If this girl doesn't come back to you, there's someone better out there for you. And you need to get over that. It's just your own insecurity telling you that this person is the one. If she doesn't come back, she's not the one. It's pretty straightforward. So remember the motto, always leave them wanting more. Be engaging, be charismatic, be teasing, be playful. Um, make them want to come back to you. And also be out there in the world having life where there is potential to meet other people, both for you to know that, but also for her to know that. And if she knows that and she doesn't give a crap that you might be dating someone else, she don't want you and you just have to get over it. Sorry, but you just have to get over it. And the best way to get over it is actually to do all those same things. Get out in the world and have a life. So I hope this helped. Um, if it did, give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you have other questions, write it in the comments. If you think this video will help other people, please share it. If you want to be the first to be notified when I release new videos, click subscribe and hit the little bell. Bing! And uh, yeah, I think that's it. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for comments. Put out.